I am totally stunned. I'll go through all of today's Tesla stock news, but you gotta see this. I know Dan O'Dowd is trying to destroy Tesla, but he's actually really helping Tesla out here. Everyone, please do me a big favor and note how this is an ad. So he's spending money to promote this. Tell every Tesla owner you know to try the free one month trial of FSD. Repost this message so we can get everyone to learn the truth about FSD and how much progress it has made. This is wonderful. I'm really happy about this. I guarantee you that that ad just sold more Teslas for Tesla. Or at worst, more FSD subscriptions. That ad got 1 million views already. And this Tesla bear is spending money on it. I thought that maybe he's a smart guy, but just extremely disingenuous. But now I'm starting to think he's not that bright. Here's what happens when you let people try FSD. Three old ladies <laughs> were trying to, uh, we're not trying. We're, we doing, we're not doing we're anything. We're being driven. I don't even have to look. <laughs> Do you have to? And we're not on a little simple neighborhood road, mind you. So we're pretty liking it. Elon Musk is making a move. He is rumored to visit India this month to meet the prime minister and is expected to make an announcement on plans to invest and open a new factory in the country. Now, I'm a bit skeptical about the rumor because we had a very similar rumor in January and nothing happened. But... Clearly, there's something going on. I think this time, it's likely to be correct that Elon Musk is indeed going to go to India because we learned that Tesla is actually going to make some vehicles for the market in India. Therefore, this rumor definitely makes sense. It's just, is it going to be this time or is it going to be a bit later? Likely, it's about to happen. Hey, it's Matt from the feature. I finished the video, I checked the latest news, and there's an official statement from Elon Musk now looking forward to meeting the Prime Minister of India. But the factory part is just pure speculation for now. However, last week we heard that Tesla was planning to bring a scouting team to find a factory location in the country. The visit is supposed to happen on April 22nd. But hold on, isn't the earnings call on April 23rd? Wouldn't that make it really difficult for Elon Musk to make it to the earnings call? Maybe, but we know that Elon has internet on the private plane that he has because of Starlink. So he can actually be on a plane flying back to the US and still attend the earnings call without issues. There's also a possibility that Elon Musk may not be on the call at all, but I think that's extremely unlikely because it was a very important quarter. And if Elon Musk is not on the call, I think the stock would drop. Unless there was a very good reason for not being on the call. Anyway, in the latest Elon Musk interview with the Norwegian fund manager. When asked about Tesla's plans for India this week, Musk said that it is a natural progression for Tesla to enter the Indian auto market. So of course that is definitely happening. Overall, Tesla entering the Indian market, I think is good news for us Tesla stock investors. We got some good news here. Tesla leads with unmatched brand loyalty in the US. We expect this, but it's good to see it confirmed. A study from Bloomberg Intelligence says that Tesla's brand loyalty is unparalleled, boasting an impressive 87 percent brand retention rate. I think that's higher than the last time I saw the number, uh, but also different surveys, different sources will give you slightly different numbers, but 87 percent, that's wow. Wow. Tesla's brand retention rate surpasses the average mark of other auto brands in a study by nearly a factor of two. And this is what a lot of people don't understand right now. 81 percent of Tesla's buyers are new buyers. So by the time a lot of these people need to upgrade Tesla, we'll at one point have more people returning to the Tesla brand than coming to the Tesla brand for the first time. In other words, also, all of the Tesla vehicles out there are pretty new vehicles, but at some point they will get old and at some point, a lot of these people will want to get a new vehicle. And at that point, even if Tesla does not grow its volumes by a lot up until then, after these people start to return to the Tesla brand, not only will we have a lot of new customers coming to the Tesla brand for the first time still, because it's naturally the best option for a new vehicle buyer, but also you will have a flood of people returning to the brand 
increasing these delivery volumes. We know that Lexuses and Toyotas are extremely reliable and that's one big reason why people return to these brands and Teslas are just as reliable. And over time, reliability will only improve. So not only do you get performance, you also get reliability and the luxury and the tech. I think it's important to note that only 1,000 people participated in the study, but we have seen similar surveys before and this only further confirms the previous findings.